Got a heated moment and some news out of the wind testimony in Boston. Our Contessa Brewer is still there and joins us this morning. Hi, Contessa. Hi there, Carl. Uh, CEO Matt Maddox is getting absolutely grilled inside this hearing today about actions he took as CEO. So this is after the news came out, after Steve Wynn had left the company, when he had taken over as successor. One, he didn't meet with salon employees individually. These were the group of employees who may have been most affected by Steve Wynn's actions. Two, he kept the president of Wynn Las Vegas in place, although that person had lost the trust of the employees. Three, that he authorized the undercover surveillance of a former employee who was the named source in the Wall Street Journal article listing out these allegations. And then the commissioner asked Matt Maddox, did you know that the company was surveilling employees thought to be Team Elaine, that is Steve Wynn's ex-wife? He said no. Then the next exchange. Would you be surprised to hear that your um, security department surveilled Elaine Wynn? I'd be surprised to hear that. I, I'm just, I guess I'm struggling with the pattern of information that comes forward that you're just not aware of. I'm, I'm not sure what to tell you. Gail Cameron says that he's making excuses. Those are her words. This license hangs in the balance. As you can see, uh, the wind stock continues to climb in spite of this ongoing hearing, guys. Dessa, thank you. Yeah, watching it closely, very, as she's made clear, of course, very, very important for the future of the wind, given how much time and effort they've spent up there in Massachusetts.